Yeah, it's the talk of New York, Tony L. Chichichu, chichichu, chi, you net. And it's the weekend. Get drunk, smoke some weed. I don't know. I can say smoke weed. You can smoke, say anything. All right, smoke some weed. Do what the <laughs> fuck you want. It's the weekend. We chilling. Weekend work with Coach PR. Units in the building. It's the takeover. Yeah. <laughs> Turn your radio up. Uh, 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 weekend work is now on. This is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Shade procedure. Because listen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he was on time before everybody. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. Yes, rest in peace, Biggie. We're we going to play nothing but Biggie tonight. And Loyal. Right? And, the, and the Loyal. And the loyal, loyal is bro. out now, of course. Rest in peace, Biggie, though. Hey. Shout out to Brooklyn, Queens. What's up, yay? All the boroughs. I'm up here. I was here early before all your people, before Nino, before now. <laughs> he I told Nino, here, you been here before, before young, Adam. I was here before Young Janet. <laughs> I, was, I was here before you. <laughs> I was here before everybody. All right, so let's get a hand, like, hand clap for Yale, man. You worked for G-Unit before. You know you never late. Uh, never but supposed to be me. late. Yo, look, never this, supposed this to a, be late. Tell a, him again, Yay. Yo, this is an industry trick, though. And shout to my man Adam, and I'm going to teach y'all industry trick. They always tell you to come, like, 1030 <laughs> or 1130, but stuff don't start till like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Is that always, true, Adam? They always lie about look times. <laughs> That, look, <laughs> Come on, man. That's an interscope no. G Unit violator trick. That was they it, yes. tell you. They'll tell you, yo, yo, you gotta be here at eleven thirty. It is. He's we, right. Hurry the, up and wait. We used to say. We used to say hurry up and wait. Yes, we used to say hurry up and wait. Listen, the video might not start till three o'clock. They tell you to be on set at twelve o'clock. That's right. And the video. That's right. Right. That's right. Absolutely. Three. See. But let's be clear. I was here, Coach. I. I yeah, she Yale was. She was you. downstairs. Yes, oh. I called, I called but coach. you wasn't here before Yale. I was Definitely here. wasn't. They yeah, told me, yeah, yo, just went upstairs. I'm never, I'm never late. I probably missed one flight in my whole entire so, so before we get into the whole Biggie tribute, it's uh, no uh, hip hop's 50th anniversary this year, right? Shout out to the whole hip hop. Hip hop, man. Now, Don't forget you, the culture. Huh? Yeah, you, you know, being a successful rapper, how did hip hop, what did hip hop mean to you? Um, Well, my best friend was a DJ, DJ Rough Hands, rest in peace. So it was different for me. So when we wanted to get off the block, we had nothing to do. It was just like every other. Is that shy? Yeah, Rough Fat Shy. Fat Shy, yeah. Shy so with, in peace. with Fat Shy, is mm -hmm. like w when the block was hot, we used to just go to the in his basement and DJ. That was the hangout spot. You know, it's one of them houses where we could all chill because right. you know couldn't go to my mom's house. Right. Mike could. You know, my mom was Haitian. You could have no company. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah, yeah. Yo, there. Plastic tell on the furniture. Yeah, my, no my mom's Jamaican. You yeah, you know how the Allen parents. Of <laughs> Allen parents. You yeah, ain't yeah. having no fun, yeah, no, no privilege. Uh -uh, uh -uh. So, um, we go to his crib and hang out, and everything was about like hip hop. Like I remember him buying Wu Tang instrumental albums. I remember listening to Anita Baker, El DeBarge. It was different kind of music. And that was and your first. You were rapping first, and, and you or know, DJ? No, nah, no, nah, I was, I was rapping. Do you but, remember your but, first but, bars, yo? You remember your? Nah, first? I really don't. You I really? Don't don't? Even, I don't even remember. You remember your first I rap that you did? I'm gonna listen, let me tell you my story. I had Haitian parents, so we came up in the era of hip hop, the '80s, right? right? '80s babies coming up, you right? Know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, I remember getting my first boombox, but my parents never let us get batteries. Because you had to plug it up to the porch to play it outside. Right. Because people would shoot you for your boombox back in the days. But I remember my man Bobby. Yeah, quickness. My man Bobby had the boombox with the equalizer. Mm. So I remember when with the Run lights, D the black yeah, one, the black boombox. We played Run DMC to the tape pop. Yeah. You know, and that, and that was hip hop for me. Because, like, you know, coming up watching Video Music Box, you know, I always shout out Ralph McDaniels because Video Music Box. The legend. Box, yeah, if it wasn't for him. For the kids that don't know, Video Music Box is like the first. MTV, BET, nah. it's for me. For us in New York, that was it. Video yeah. Music Box. You ran home to watch Video Music Box. Yeah, and it's like, now in this era, you feel like the kids now and hip-hop, like it's kind of like y'all trying to like, not erasing it, like I'm not saying y'all don't have respect for the culture, right. but I think my era got a little more respect for the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I remember coming up to Rock Him, Big Daddy Kane, mm -hmm. Slick Rick, Dougie Fresh, I remember self destruction, Queen Latifah. <laughs> Who you yeah. calling a bitch? <laughs> you and that T Y. Like, yeah, 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 I mean, you know that, that that it was different back then. It was like hip hop kind of more had a message. So who was the rapper that made Yeah Yo rap? Um, it's not one particular rapper. It's okay. just hip hop in general. You know, it's just hip hop in general. You know, special lead and you know the, the Queen Latifahs. Like I said, um, right. Salt and Pepper. You know, that was like your first crush. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Pe Push it. Pepper, yeah. Remember when Push It yeah, dropped? For, how about this? They remember, was like the we first. Had, we look. had 6-2 on the road with us. Remember? He just yeah. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> shoot. But Salt and Pepper, like, come on, bro. Everybody still got a crush, but 
Yeah. But Spinderella, they need Spinderella back though. I think she she is back because she went to the the um the the Hall of Fame, the star. Yeah, they, had, she was they, there. She, they had to have her there. Yeah, she was there. So that's that's yeah, good. Yeah, no, Spinderella was nice too. Remember yeah. everybody went. There was too. two Spinderellas, so yeah. nah, I know the first spin the original Spinderella. You know, if you want the first one back or the second one? The second one was What what the fuck? It was the second Spinderella? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? That's the one they have now. That she's been down for like I'm talking about the first bad the one that was in Push It, the bad, bad one. There was two Spinderellas? There was two Spinderellas. Nah, yeah, come on, There's yeah. only one Spinderella in my book. Well, you know I'm what? I'm just keeping it real. In everybody else's book, too. That's crazy. I only knew that. That's this is one... some new shit. I'm just hearing the hip-hop. No, Diddy. That's the one that you see now. That's what you remember, the, the one before her. I'm talking about the first Spinderella. Look it up, somebody. You somebody look it up. Look it up. I, yo, listen, man. You talking Somebody to... find... Where's your, where's your You want to talk hip-hop? Talk to me. Up, talk to me. Dino. Look it up. Talk, ask me. Look it up. I'm Google. I'm, I'm hip-hop Google. I don't even know what the second Spinderella looked like, Adam. Didi, what is he talking there's about? There's only one. Right? There's only one Spinderella, bro. There's two, right? We tell him. So and it was Didi. Didi was I'm the second one. It. So the, the one in Push It was the first original Spinderella. No, that's the second one. Look, Didi. That's the first that's, one. Yeah, this the first that's the one. Yeah, he's this the one. That's Didi? Yes. Right no, here. no, let me see. No, I'm just that's, saying that's the original. That's who he's That's the one that was in to. Push It. That's the no. original. No. Yes. No, this is Didi. She's the second one. There was no second Spinderella. Yo, 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 let me put let me listen, What man, is he talking about? about? Listen, man. Listen, man. This We're going to play some music. Spinderella. I, listen, man. They talking to me, man. Bro, this is coach, man. Yo. Well, I, listen, the loyal out now, man. Yeah, loyal out now. Let's get into some music right now. Let's get into some music. Let's get into loyal. Let's get Get indicted, Hotline? Let's Mo- go. Motherfuckers getting indicted right now. Yeah, right now. I like Let's that Let's go on to that. Let's do that. <laughs> Turn your radio up. Uh, 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 weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Shade Procedure. Yes, yeah, it's the Talk of New York. We on Shade 45 with Coach PR. Shout out to the whole team. And um, this is Get Indicted Hotline off my new mixtape, The Loyal. Yeah, yeah. We are back, man. It's Tony Yale here. Yeah. He still don't remember. I'm trying to get, you know, like the other day I saw She the, still didn't find a second she, Spinderella. I want to find it. No, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking at so all I, of them. I saw it on TNT. All of them? How yeah. many Spinderellas? Yeah, because the coach says there's so many. There's two. There's two. I just I remember that one. I just taught you. I just taught you that. Watch. You're going to see. All right. But I saw on TNT what made me ask you that question, previous question about your first rap. Because they asked Shaq, like, and you know, Kenny, their first buckets. And, you know, the players remember, a lot of players remember their first bucket. Why you don't remember your first rap? I, it was just so <laughs> many. It was just because at a point we was doing, we was just rapping in the hood, so I couldn't, I don't even know what time. I, was you I, shooting somebody? I'll Did I'll you know, have drugs in I'll, your first no, rap? No, no, no. I know, I know Banks, a Banks rap, so I know 50. 50 years, I, I know you've heard, I heard you I say I won't 50s. remember mine. Cause mm. we just we did so much work and put out so much work. Shout out to Banks and Fifty. Um, yeah, we um put out so much work that I just can't remember. I gotta be having whole music in my head. So, cause yeah. me with music, I can go from Roberta Flack, Nina Simone to um Mob Deep to Little Baby. Yeah. To you know what I'm saying? I just when I play music, they play, play everything. It's just not I just hip hop. Yeah, not just hip hop. I'm big on R and B too. Um, so now that the loyal's out. You're running around. Cause how long has it been, bro, since you put out some music? Um, it's been a while. Right? It's okay. been a while, yeah. It's how, been a how's it moving for you right now? Because um, yeah. I just came off a tour, my own tour in Canada. It's, okay. it's shout to the whole Canada. Went to Montreal, Quebec. Uh, shows were doing good, too. I, I heard somewhere. the word. Adam yeah. came back with the word. Yo, yeah, bro. shows, shows so was doing crazy, great. Yeah. I mean, when you look at um, G-Unit, it's a very big, legendary group worldwide. Mm-hmm. Like, um, when you look at Eminem, he's one of the, you know, the, the guys that I feel like helped us propel our careers and got us to where we got as well as 50. You know, we are off branch to 50, but right. Eminem it's is the, the reason branch. why mm-hmm. I feel like um, we're so big overseas. What do you feel about Melly Mel saying what he said about uh, I mean, I feel like people always attack him. Right. Like, I mean, he's, you know, he's 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 a white guy and in and in, in you can consider in a black man's sport. So it's like right. a black, like a black it's hockey culture. player. Right, right. It's like a black hockey player. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, but you know, he's holding up his own. I mean, people right? always got stuff to say about M. But my, with me, with M, I feel like you know, I was in jail. You know, he looked out for me. I was on Rikers Island. He wore the free Yale shirt at the Grammys. Never, never forget that. Which was big. There's people that, that I grew huge. up, grew up with that never did anything for me. 
I feel like Melly Mel is wrong. I feel like, you know, Eminem is still number one on Spotify. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's it is what it is. He's one of the best MCs. He do deserve that number one spot. I respect Mel. You know, that's Melly, what he did, Melly Mel. But well, come on, I think you, you can't turn wrong. it. You can't turn you it understand. into a racial thing because that's like the Source magazine back in the days. You know, they used to call us house niggas. Yeah, because we fuck with M. What kind of shit is that? Right, right. Well, they said that because you know Benzino. <clears throat> I mean, had the whole, well, but it doesn't. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. True. It doesn't matter because I'm getting money with M, and he's he's Caucasian. Right. It shouldn't even be a problem. He put us on. He put Fifty in position. He put. Yeah, yo, I'm, I'm here because of that. He, yeah, I'm we here on because Shade of 45 that. Forty-five right now. Because <laughs> of it, that, like it shouldn't be a racial thing. It's like sometimes it feel like, yo, Melly Mel, you you a pillar of hip hop. Right. It feel like you doing that shit for the clout. You don't need to do that. Right. Right. You 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 know what I'm saying? Like right. people hate on M, and I try to figure out why. Right. Instead of just like, it instead of no embracing sense. it, it's hip hop. Like Mel. I said, when we was coming up and we signed that deal, I was one of the happiest niggas in the world. I so think we all you know was. the Source magazine. <laughs> I mm. remember running down on Benzino in Miami. Like, yo, we house niggas and shit? Mm. What kind of shit is that? You get on, you get on. Everybody worked for somebody. But that was, like, personal. That wasn't real, you know, journalism. It, it, it does, was stupid Yeah, it was shit. personal. You was calling us house niggas. Yeah. You was putting us on the, on the front of the magazine. And it's cool. It ain't a problem, but it's like everybody always want to attack M. And M is the most humblest dude. He, right. He, he probably fuck with Melly Mel. Right, yep. He probably would respect him. Yep. Melly Mel and... And, and, and That's the crazy thing. Who about else was it too. getting that? Um, the grand. What was it? Lord Jamal. Lord Jamal was yeah, another Lord one. Lord Jamal. He's and Lord Jamal, one. I fuck with brand new being back in the days. <sighs> like, on, that was like group. I still listen to his shit. But when it comes to him, I'm always gonna defend him because it's not because he's a white boy. It's because he's talented. And he actually <laughs> added something to have, the culture. He yeah, didn't take it away from the culture. He added to the culture by adding. They acting 50 like G they acting it. like he's a That's one hit wonder or something like that. That man has great bodies of work. That man sold 16 million records. Hard copy, you, numbers don't lie. Right. Right? Think they about say the line, women lie, the numbers don't lie. Like Eminem is like, and he put mad people in position. He even got Griselda in position right exactly. now. Exactly, yeah. He put June in a position. Yep. He put D12 in position. Even even Joe Button's in them. Think yeah. about that. He had with the Slaughterhouse, right? Yeah, so Melly Mel, you in the wrong, man. It just seemed like, you know, he's a white boy. That's the only... Nah, nah he got skills, nah. motherfucker. He got skills, too. If he that's the rap. case, if he's, he's a, a white boy, he can look, rap. If that's the case, <laughs> Vanilla Ice would be on that shit then. He See, went if diamond. he said something about Vanilla right? Ice, then I would have said something. No, no, I'm just no, saying. Nah, nah, nah. I'm just nah, keeping nah, it nah, real. Nah, nah, but if he said something about Vanilla Ice, and we I would... we can't even diss Vanilla Ice because Vanilla Ice went diamond. He's talented. Come on, man. At that time, and nah, Don't nah, I'm front not, like no, you wasn't no, rocking yeah, nah, the Ice yo, Ice no. Baby, nigga. No, I wasn't, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't yet. Nigga, you was in the way. Ah, no, I wasn't. That one? Come on, nigga. No way. Ice Ice Baby, nigga. Were you playing Ice Ice Baby? That nah, right? Was he was playing Ice Ice yes, Baby. Yes, he was playing oh, that nobody shit. Nobody ever was playing no that, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah you wasn't playing that. That shit will play in a party or something. It plays. The video, you ain't never watched the video back in the day. I watched Definitely it, but I wasn't did. rocking in my he car. You watched the video. Caroline, were you rocking in Vanilla Ice? Um, you was vanilla doing ice? the dance. No, no way. Adam? Coach, you was bopping. Vanilla Ice? Caroline is mad. Coach, you was bopping. Hell no. She don't know who Vanilla Ice is. She don't want to know who Vanilla Ice is. <laughs> but like I said, the name. But like I said, Eminem deserves to be on that list. Yes, he does. I give him the number one spot. Because you know why? Yeah. Where he's at? Eight point. Let's do the. Where's he at on Spotify? What was it? Eight point six billion. Billion. Some crazy what was it, shit. Adam? Look, he got, and look, he doesn't do shows. He doesn't. No, nothing. He doesn't congregate with none of you rap niggas. He don't. He's not out there playing. Man. He's not doing and shit. And he's still number one on Spotify. Stop it. So Melo Mel, you in the wrong. You a pillar of hip hop. I'm not gonna come up here and disrespect you, but come on, man. Right. If he, like you Crazy said, if it was just because he's a white boy, Vanilla Ice would be on the list. Cause right. he went diamond. Right. Yo, you did a record with a, a, a rapper from Detroit that's on The Loyal. Oh, yeah, Tyler G. He locked up free to Tyler G. Yeah. I always, you know I always break new artists like how I broke Danny then Brown. Then Danny Brown. Yeah. I was telling somebody that the other day. They uh, was Danny like, yeah. Brown went and then he started messing with, um, you know, Paulie and everybody over yeah. there. But, he uh, acted like he didn't know me after a while. After a while, It was real? funny. I didn't get him on contract. You know how see, artists are. See, that's where you have to have somebody. You have him in your crib. You give him everything. That's why it's kind of hard to find new artists. Would you, that's I took what I'm going to get to. shopping, took him on tour. And then once he got on, he didn't know me. That's why contractually, when you get an artist, get them on paper. If you ain't on paper, I'm not going to really take it serious. So are you going to do that again for another artist? By Will you ever it's start your label? Dealing, it's, it's hard dealing with artists and trusting people and assistants and mm. shit like that. It's hard. Too much, right? Like, yeah, I, I'd rather. I, I don't want no assistant. I don't want. I would love an artist, but like after the Danny Brown situation, I kind of like. Fell back from that. Fell back from it. What about this artist that Yeah, TV shows he was with. Yeah, Paulie, he's gone. Shea he's gone. Five, yeah. He was out of here. 
And he ain't even really, he ain't even shot me out like that. And I was just like, I ain't take it personal. I just was like, yo, it's business. You know, but when, when somebody's in, in your house living mm. with you mm. and mm. chilling with you and you taking them shopping, you bring it on tour, sometimes they get on and they forget. Right. You know, but that's how a lot of that's artists a, are. Yeah. You know, I'm not mad. You know, I understand because this game, honestly, is about using people. That's how I never thought like that. But later but on, it I is, realized. Though. Yeah, it is, though. If you're a good user, you're going to make it in here. Learn how right. to use people. Use them. But that's use them right. I'm just yeah, keeping it real. It's real. That's right, real. Right, right, right. Use them right. I know a lot of artists that I've seen use mad people. I'm not going to say no names. Right, right, right. But they're successful now or for using people. I'm just keeping it real. Hey, listen. If you're around me and you have a good vibe i tell the people the same thing use me for what it is bro yeah. you know what I mean? no homo yeah no homo no homo right. pause pause let's, let's get some music bro what you yeah. want to get to um let's get into some biggie smalls man biggie small mm. yeah let's get into um who shot you mm. that's one of i remember when that first came on radio that's Thanks. when yeah. records exclusives were exclusive exclusives you yes. know what i'm saying yes rest in peace to biggie smalls one of the best rappers ever notorious b-i-g ever. let's go man let's go yay yeah. Your radio uh, 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 weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Share procedure. Boom. The weekend work, Coach PR, my family, Tony Yayo. Definitely. Damn, I haven't it's seen Yayo. I just talked to Yayo on the phone. Like, I, I haven't yeah, really man. seen him in a while. I had to come up and see you. Family. Appreciate you, you know that, how bro. we do, man. Just came off a tour. It was, it was a tough tour. We drove through the Rocky Mountains. We yeah. drove through Hell's Highway. And I never thought it would be that scary Last, to go through Canada like that. Yeah, you know? that's shit. Last I mean, time, we're driving We went to Canada with, no, with a broken window. You was on there or wasn't there? Yeah, y'all got arrested, right? Y'all smoke. <laughs> they smoke weed by the border. That's so stupid. That wasn't me, when though. When you get to the border, <laughs> Put the that weed was out. Banks' crew. We got people arrested and shit. Shout out to Banks' crew, man. Shout out to Banks' crazy they crew. They told him, look, and people, look, and my man Free, I think Free said, yo, we're by the border. Do not yeah, smoke. Free. What do you think them ignorant niggas from the towers did? Shout out to John. Well, why would you listen to Free? Let me tell you about Free, right? But you know, Free's a look, look, don't hold smoke. Look, when we came, I, <laughs> I was listen, we drove back, right? Into the U.S. from um, Montreal. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, we cleaned the car. We said, yo, make sure. We, Hollywood, shout to strike. We said, yo, look, no we in the car. We're hitting the border. Right. We hit the border. He looked in the car. We were sleeping. There was nothing to be nervous about. Because you're going to, if you got something on, you're going to be a little nervous. Yeah. He didn't smell no weed. He, the officer slid the door open, looked around, didn't smell no weed. All right, you can come back into the U.S. Once they would have kept you there, same yeah. But going shit. into Canada, but going into Canada and you light up the blunt is the most foolish thing <laughs> to do. You could do when uh -huh. there's mad weed in Canada anyway. But what I was gonna say, free, they wasn't gonna listen to free. This is the same dude that he was driving, right? He thought his eyes were red, so he thought he had uh, Visine. He took the CD cover, a uh, CD cleanser. And poured it in his oh, no. eye oh, while he's driving. Oh, no. So why would you want to listen to Free? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know that. So last month was uh, the celebration for Get Rich or Die Trying. Twenty years. Definitely, man. Shout out to Fifty. Ooh, Get Rich or Die Trying is, you know, it's in a classic. Now, do you remember recording uh, like him recording? I mean, it was special for me because I was in the studio with Dr. Dre. Like for me, like uh, a lot of rappers haven't gotten to do their bucket list. That's what they call it, bucket list. Yeah. But I got yeah. to do it like I early, think, like. <laughs> Being the first when we was doing flex freestyles, it was like when it really, it, to me, it really, it still means something. But it was really, but it was something, just like, something oh right shit, there. your first time going yeah. to flex or yeah. your first time going to serious, or I remember first time um, dealing with K Slay, rest in peace to K Slay. Yeah. So I remember yeah. a lot of moments in hip hop, but give Richard Die trying for me. Another moment was being in the studio with Dr. Dre. Mm. So like I'd be in the studio with other producers. Shout out to my man M Major, but I'd be like, ah, right, your shit hot, but. I done been in the studio with Dre, man. <laughs> Timberland, so I'm no disrespect to Right, you. right, no disrespect. Because you got you the new guys that are fire, like Hit Boy and, and Metro Boomin and yeah, all these yeah. dudes that are fire yeah. that are the new guys. Yeah. But, like, I've been in the studio with Dre. Like, that shit was some, imagine your first time, you know, never leaving the hood. Right. And the funny shit is we were staying in the Beverly. It was me and my man Wheezy. Yeah. And, you know, Fifth, you know, we had we, we ain't signed a deal yet, so niggas had money, but, you know, yeah. I remember Fifth telling Wheezy, yo, yo, don't touch no M&Ms in this motherfucker. <laughs> Nothing in that mini there. bar. <laughs> Nigga, Wheezy touched the M&Ms. He got high. He touched Fifth. He was like, I told you, man, you touched the M&Ms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like $30 right. in, the, in the hotel. Right, in the hotel, yeah. In Beverly Hills, yeah. Around the corner, yep. they, it's $2. So right. we always had the street nigga mentality. That's right. Yeah. The store. No matter what we did. So my first time in L.A. Smoking in that Guido. 
Studio with Dre. Dre got a cabinet full of weed. Mm. Mad Hennessy. Mm. He's playing nothing but crazy beats, bro. He played in the club. I'm like this. Oh, my God. He played Heat. I'm like, God. He played P-I-M-P. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. And 50 was just... Just right, was right away. He was knocking them out. Was, uh, was, mm. uh, was the vibe like... Like super professional or like nah the vibe was it was hoodie it was you know Hennessy, big blunts cab yeah Guido cabinet full of weed yeah, yeah. Cabinet cabinet. And a he- yeah that's the laid back I, what am I thinking right <laughs> and you know we ain't never smoked that LA shit I'm that was Guido time, right like, right just Guido, Guido yeah some shit called a Guido back yeah. then bro the Guido <laughs> <laughs> Broadway was we was high bro yeah. we was we was high I'm like yeah. damn I can't believe I'm in here with Dr Dre dog Eminem and then the funny shit is. Other niggas was coming. Buster came through. The funny shit is, nigga was was um spitting in fifty ear, and that's why I say I never sleep on no artist. Right. That shit was Kanye West. Wow. He was in the studio too. Trying at that at that time, I think he was trying to probably trying get, to get on up. yeah on yeah. shit on get 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 Richard die trying. Wow, that was. But that Kanye. was Kanye West. I was like, oh shit, this nigga that's was crazy. In there now. now look at him. Mm. Yeah, shout, shout out to Kanye. To but brother. you ever tried to get tracks from from Ye? Nah. <laughs> I'll be humble. I, yo, I ran into everybody. Man. Yeah, I, I know you did. I That's met, why I said that. Cause you, I done met the Kardashians well, numerous times. Remember, they were met, on the road with us. I remember you. True story. They were on the road with us. This was when uh, Homegirl was with us. Who? I was in jail. I don't know anything about oh. the Kardashians being on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yo. your, your girl, uh, clear, clear. Meg, what's her name? Megan? What's, what's um, you know, Meg, the Megan Good? Megan Good? Yeah, for sure. And, and Chloe. I, I don't know anything about that. They were on the bus with us. They were on the bus. I, I ain't gonna say who was with who, but you already know. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting it. I was in jail. Sourcing I don't know. it up. Sourcing it up. It was true, though. Man. Was, you know that. Know. People know that. No, no, you no, think 21 no. questions just came out of the blue? Man, no, was there. No, 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 no. For sure. For sure. <laughs> 21 questions. Everybody knew that, man. Yeah, Megan. But good. everybody didn't know Chloe was on that bus, Megan too. Megan still look good. She was chunk, Megan. chunky. Yeah, she still look good, right? Yeah, that black don't crack. No, it don't, man. Look at Angela Bassett. She looks beautiful. How old is she? Like she's in the, she close to like 60, 60, right? She yeah, looks she great, man. Yeah, she does. She's yeah, amazing. black don't crack, bro. What's up with the movies, Jay? Yeah, Ooh. You know what? Everybody asks you that. This is what people got to understand. If 50 put all his friends in movies, them shits would be flops. Right. No, but... Just you, think about it. You no. didn't need, did you need no, 50 no, for SWAT? No. Did 50 no, put you in SWAT? No, I, I was, right, that's what I'm saying. No, but uh, that's a question people be like, yo, why you didn't put, me, put you in power? The, 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 these nah. people, you got to think, people like... uh. Omar and Tommy, all these motherfuckers, and Lil Ghost and all these yeah. motherfuckers. Like, a lot of these motherfuckers went to acting school since yeah. kids. Yeah. Like, when you look at Lil Ghost, he was six years old until now. Even Lil Meech had to go to acting. school. Even Lil Meech had to go mm-hmm. to acting school. So, it's like putting your friends in a movie. If, if they'd be like, yo, yeah, you got a budget to do a TV show, I'm not picking my, my friends. Like, yo, come on. You might be an actor. I need some or actors. Right, right, right. I need some yeah. actors to actually make the show. But what I, why I asked because you were in SWAT. Yeah. So you got thrown off real quick too. They did you dirty. Ooh, I got shot. <laughs> shot. <in the head. laughs> you know, like, Waka Waka was supposed to do that. He didn't oh, want to do it. Waka was like, nah. I'm not getting shot. In the head. <laughs> like, fuck it. Let me get shot. It's better than getting shot in the head in the hood. Fuck it's in the movie. Shit, for real, right? But that's but, why um, I figured that, you know, okay, maybe we'll see y'all. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to do something else. I'm, when I have the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would want to take acting classes first. You don't, you want to? Yeah, I would want to. You want that. to, right? Yeah. All right, let's get some more music, man. Let's go. What you get my, let's get into this loyal. Let's get into the kill switch. Shout out to the whole Canada. Shout out to my man Presser. You know what it is. Was kill switch? Yeah. Were Shout you a De La Soul fan? Did you love De, De La Soul? Of course. Potholes in my lawn. Fire, right? We, we you want to go? We, we can go let's go there. Let's, La go. La, let's go into a De La Soul record after kill switch. Kill, that's why I love this guy. Rest in peace, De La Soul. Even though he we're didn't know there was two, two Spinderellas. I, I didn't know there him. was two Spinderellas. Salt and Pepper, call up here. We ain't know there ain't no two Spinderellas, man. Come on, man. Thank you, Nino. <laughs> was Latoya I know one Latoya Spinderella. Hansen was the Spinderella. Because they had a fallout originally. with the original Spinderella. Right. Yeah, the That's first one, and the they came one. back, and, and they got Didi, Didi, and then they yeah. fell out with but Didi, can, wait, and then Didi came back. But they can't right. fuck up with the original Spinderella, because that's the original. I know the original She, to me, is she would be so the original, she but they was No disrespect to the second one. First one, the first one, you mean. No disrespect to the first one. The picture she showed me? That's the second one. That's Didi. Nigga, that's the original Can you add But that's... Oh, um, everyone's original. Right, right, right. Because right. nobody I'm remembers nobody the first. Nobody remembers Latoya Henson. Right. Let's and get even it. in the Lifetime movie, it was like right. so quick. 
Right. She didn't See, really have they a was role. quick. So and that's why she was beefing. Cinderella was bad. Up. I remember Cinderella. Her, right. right there. She was the she, one. Yeah, everybody she was, had a, we all grew we up had on a crush her. on. Kenny Anderson. That's Kenny Anderson's baby. Put it like this: the Push It video. That was the Cinderella. That's it. That's it. That's what we need, man. That's the one everyone grew up on. That was my shit. Let's get into Kill Switch. Kill right. Switch, man. Let's go. Shout the the turn your radio up. Uh, 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 <laughs> weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Share procedure. Boom. Weekend work, Coach PR. Coach PR, Shade 45. My guy over there. Come on, man. I'm loving this. Talking man. to you up. It's my guy, Queens in the building. Can we, Queens can we, get the money. Listen, man. I'm going to let everybody know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the people. Hit me up right now. Hit us up. You can hit Yayo up to uh, at Tony Yayo, yes. at Coach PR, yeah. at We Can Work, WKND. Should we do the show together? I absolutely agree. Let's do the show. Because me and Yayo, Yayo's bullshit. I was made for radio, I feel like. Like, it's just, it's fun. We used to come up to when uh, Who Kid was on uh, the morning show. You was, fun. You was pulling up. And you could DJ, too. Yeah, I could DJ. I Why you not doing any clubs? No, I'm good. You, you I'm, I'm, clubs, I'm right? humble, man. I'm trying to get, get to the business behind the music. You know, there's a lot, like when you look at a lot of successes like the Jay-Z's and 50's and mm. Diddy's, they got rich outside of the music. Right. They just use the music as the platform to, you know, right. to make some money and make them make your name. But you, that's why you started <clears throat> Welcome to the Culture podcast? Definitely. I got the podcast. I got merch selling. Like, you can make yeah. money off of merch. Other things. Yeah. It's the other things. Like, when you look at uh, Adam Tyler, you ever been in a store? My son just went to a store, the golf store. Tyler Creator got his own store somewhere in the city. Like, Where? In New York? What is it called? He's a dope kid. No. Yeah, it's called Golf Something. But my in, son in New went York? There. Yeah. Really? In New York. So it's like, wow. it's a lot of artists that you might not hear on radio, like a Tyler the Creator, but they got like a cult following. Like my son loved Tyler the Creator. Nah, he's he's dope. You know, my he's daughter, dope. she loves BK the Ruler. It's a lot. It's so many artists that you might not, mm. people might not be privy to, but they got a big following. Who you fucking with in New York? <clears throat> Golf Come Wing. On. That's the name of the story. Golf, Golf Wing. Yeah. Who, who you fucking with in New York? That's Come artists coming I mean, up. there's a lot of dope artists. In young, New young, York. young dope artists <clears> that's out right now. You gotta give it to A Boogie. He just oh, filled out. You see out. what he did in the Barclays? He just oh sold out gosh. the Barclays. So you, you, Shit. you gotta give it to A Boogie. He's getting a new, lot of new show. King. He's probably the king of New York. You know, right? they getting, they getting a lot of fucking money. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I always say it's fucked up. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Oh, I feel oh. like New York. You he know, got cheated. That was another one. He was turning the corner too. Um. I feel like New York was back on track. You know, I'm fucking with, um, um, let me think. There's so many. Busy Banks. I'm fucking with, uh, there's so many, bro. You know, um, Shoddy K, Booba Savage, K Flock and K them. Flock and it's them, just all these man. niggas be ops and yeah, shit. Yeah. The Ice Spice chick, she's doing her thing right now. Like, yeah. she got some catchy songs. Yeah. That boy's a liar. That shit is kind of cool. <laughs> you like that, right? That shit is cool. My son be singing that shit. Yeah, like, that say, boy's a liar. <laughs> My son shit, singing that shit. That shit. That's that's how shit how is, you know this song, bro. Shit like, just be so catchy. Catchy, yeah, right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, of course, Cardi B, Nicki. Come yeah. on, there's a list. I mean, you, the new in, in, in the, you yeah. know. Yeah, you got some guys from Queens. I'm right from your hood, too. You got guys from your hood. Yeah, who? Right, Joffy and them. Oh, yeah, Joffy. Shout out to Joffy. They working. Yeah. They starting to get the work done, Ops, but you got to like you got to put a lot of work in though. You got to put a, you have to work. <clears throat> like when fifty, that bring, when 50 used music. to call us, like 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 when you look at like the successes from Queens, like Run DMC, and, Nas, and, and Nas, and Fifty, and Nicki, and G Unit, Boys, and it, it's Lost Mob. Boys. Yeah, it's 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 something like lightning in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Like LL, of course. I yeah. always say LL. I was still working, hard, going hard. Like, damn, bro. I had a down, debate son. with somebody. They, they, people just, they. I don't know why LL was hot from the eighties to the nineties to the two thousand. I just told him that, and he's looking at me like I'm. Where crazy, was he bro. at on the list? Where they had him on the list? I don't even know. I don't even think. Somebody he was look it up. You know, the where, top, where, where, where was he in the top guy? twenty? Like to me, where they he should have been in the top ten. <clears throat> of course. You know what I mean? Like to me, LL been making hit records from the eighties, bro. The eighties. The to nineties, early two thousand, early, early two thousand. With that record, Dream, he had everybody yes. still dancing in the club yes. with that record, bro. Yes, man. Come on, give it up. That was like cool. the original goat, because yes. yes. his name of the album was Goat, right? Yep. Give me your top three all time mm -hmm. artists. Let me see. Cool. Right. I'm not even say five. I'm cut it short. Top three. I can't records. even do that. I hate when people do that. <clears throat> but it's for you. This is your personal. I can't. I can't put. It's it's, it's hard to figure out because I'm a hip hop guy. So like people be like, Yo, who's your top five? I'd be like, well, they should start having top 10s and top 20s for me. 
for you. Okay. And then, and then I'll make it easy. And then, day. and then if we if we go from there, we I would start from the eighties. I gotta start and from keep on going eighties. I gotta yeah, go from the 80s. like like what happened to Big Daddy Kane, Kuzi and Rock, Rock, Rakim, Rock, Slick Rick, Rock, 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 yeah, Rock yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know I make I mean, it easy. I make it easy for you. Give me groups coming from one of the most iconic group. Give me yours except G Unit. Top groups. Yes. You're gonna have to put Run, Run DMC on there. Yes. And the reason why I say Run DMC because they're the first rap group to ever play on was that MTV. Yes. And to change the game to, to a whole different kind of audience. And we dressed like right? them too. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Run DMC and they from Queens. Mm. So I'm gonna go with them. That's that's number one for me. I'm with you on that. Damn. Second rap group. Mm. You see Wu Tang, Mob Deep. Without putting Gina up in there, because Gina's is top five. You got to put Wu Tang in there. I put Wu Tang. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm gonna say Run DMC. You have to put Wu Tang in there because Wu Tang was the biggest thing like worldwide. Right. Yeah, and, yes. and it was like, come on, them motherfuckers had video games, pajamas, all kinds. Everything. Of shit. That W. Yeah. That W was Definitely. sick. <laughs> yeah. Even though some of them don't like me, I like them though. You think? Like, why you say that? I heard no, you I say like that Ghost before. Face and everybody, but Wu Tang. Who you saying? N.W.A. You definitely got to put him up, put him up there, top five. Yeah, got yeah. It. I would say N.W.A. Public Enemy before Public Enemy. Damn. <laughs> see, it's hard to see, see what I'm saying? Before Public Enemy, EPMD. But you know what? I gotta go with N.W.A. Tribe Called Quest. You know what? Because I always like the street shit, man. I'm sorry. I love yeah, Public me too. Enemy me too. too. Me too. Don't give me fight me the too. power. Fight the power. Yeah. Spike Lee shit. Don't give me, give the me street wrong. shit. But. You know when easy when when easy when they said the easy e yo easy why you, you wearing why you wearing pants <laughs> like that why you zipper down easy access, but, <laughs> <laughs> I just access, love the ignorance man. shit yeah, he was man ignorant shout out to little easy man yeah, yeah. shout out to the whole NWA man yeah, rest yeah, in man. peace the easy man man we appreciate you yeah man the thanks. loyals out right now the loyals out now man go get it it's everywhere Spotify Apple thanks for having me Shay four five yo mm -hmm. hit us up right now if you need the show. Yeah, hit us, up, hit us up right now, man. We be here every weekend, man. Because we're trying to get the people in serious to really believe this. It can yeah. happen. I think it could. Ron, make it happen, baby. Make, right, make it happen, man. Appreciate you. Tony Definitely, Yeo, man. loyal Thanks out for now. Me. Hit them on your uh, IG real quick. At Tony Yeo, right? Yeah, at Tony Yeo. Yep, at Weekend Work, WKND, at Shave 45. No blue checks for me at Coach PR. Shout, yo, where's your blue check, man? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to like, you gotta make it happen, you, man. You need a co-sign me, bro. Yeah, you are, you are here in the big building, baby. Can you make it happen, bro? Yes, let's make it happen. Thank you, man. So let's go. Your radio up. Uh, 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 Weekend Work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shave 45. Shave. Procedure. Boom.